<laughs> you don't necessarily Here? have to do it. Yeah. Right oh, now? We're going to do it now, but we're out of time for the segment, huh? You've always said that all the time. Love the Bruins. What? Wait, Eric, what are you doing? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm here at the uh, Bruins Central here at USC. Uh, excuse me, guys, uh, do you know where the library is? Definitely, yeah, right over here. Right Follow right us, right 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 right. Come on, let's we'll show you. They screwed me up. You know what the deal was supposed to be? What I was going to say, do you know where the library is? They're going to say, no, we've never heard of the library. They're going to say, do you know where Fraternity Row is? And they're all going to point to Fraternity Row. Yeah. You can't trust college guys. Have you met Joanne Flug? I've interviewed her. I love Joanne Flug. You do? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you applaud the position that she took? I agree. I support her 100%. Whatever Joanne did is... <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Right, now, Joanne, don't... do you know where the library is? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, we'll just... It's right behind you. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to meet Lisa Bernbach, and we're going to talk about colleges today and a controversial guidebook to colleges. Okay, thank you, Eric, and Joanne, thank you. Thank again. you. Yeah, and, and I, you know, congratulations on standing up for your ethics. Thank you. Right, I come appreciate back it. Again. I'd love to. Congratulations right. on your show, too. University of California, Santa Barbara. What did you have to say about that? UCSB. What did you say about them? I said it was more of a party school than a, than a college. I said it was more like a beach movie than a college. I think they have a major at UCSB in totally, if you just say totally for credit. When you say something like that about a school, yeah. do you hear from the director of admissions at all? Sometimes they thank me. They say, thank you for being you. Sometimes they say, please die. But mostly they've responded to the book positively. You know, the reason I say that is, Steve, you won't believe who just walked by. <laughs> who? The director of admissions here at USC just walked up to say to Lisa that she really enjoyed... Well, come here for a moment. <laughs> what a zany coincidence. <laughs> what a zany coincidence. <laughs> Is... Hello, Lisa, how are you? Hi, Catherine, how are you? Yes. Yes. Catherine, you'll have to talk into Lisa's microphone. All right, I'll get close to Lisa. <laughs> no. Hi, darling. <laughs> Catherine is director of admissions Everybody here at USC. Everybody trying to touch me. No. Incredible. <laughs> I thought you'd be upset about what they said about the school. How do you feel? Well, I think that the, the report on SC, at least, is the greatest study in hyperbole that I've ever seen an exaggeration to create an effect, and uh, it reinforces false stereotypes <laughs> about the university that are outdated. Well, then why are and, you opposing uh, me? <laughs> exactly. Why? It's a fun book to read, and that's why you're going to sell a million copies. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, we're not going to talk about the book anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm going to talk about what I'm very upset about, Steve. What's that, Eric? Well, you know, Lisa wrote the preppy handbook, and as a result, there was a secret bond between all us prepsters, and now the whole world knows about preppy, thanks to you. This is a natural fiber, isn't it? Yes, it's much it is. easier to buy them now since the preppy handbook came out. Yeah, critique me. Am I preppy? Yeah, you're <laughs> fabulous. You're great. That's the only thing... Stripe watch band. Yeah, this is good. LL Bean watch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is getting very self-indulgent. Oh, yes, it is. First of all, you have the director of admission sit down to compliment Lisa, and she tells her her book is full of it. Well, well it's that... Full of hyperbole. <laughs> all right. Well, I think the book... I think what Catherine meant to say was... Perhaps she thought that my book was, was a little, uh, I emphasize the Greek life at SC too much, but she thinks that every American should buy this book because it's a well-written and funny book. No, no, no. We only have a few seconds Let here. me nail this down. Yes. Exactly correct. Lisa and yes. Catherine, honestly, is the book a handy tool or is it simply hyperbole and fiction? I think it's amusing reading. Lisa? I think it's a handy tool. Steve? <laughs> Before we go, Lisa, tell me, what about UCLA? Um, the only college bookstore in America with a Calvin Klein department, and I think that's important. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Catherine, who didn't know she'd be on the show. Thank you, Lisa. Thank Eric, you. thank you very much. I'm going to go pledge it with those fraternity guys. <laughs> yeah. Good luck on campus. Eric, all right, thank you all very much. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to meet a young man who has starred in many motion pictures in the last few years and uh, who is really exploding.